Well, Josephine, who plays the commander, Fred Waterford in The Handmaid's Tale, joins me now. This is such a scary world. And what I think's really good about it, Joseph, is the way that they do flashbacks to a time like this, where we're all, yeah. we all are now, and how quickly that can unravel and how mm -hmm. quickly people can lose everything, like, like their bank accounts go, their mm -hmm. identity goes. Mm -hmm. scary. scary. Well, it's, it's true. I think it's very resonant in that, in that totally. sense, although it's set in this sort of dystopian future, this, yeah. uh, sp it's, as Margaret Atwood calls it, speculative fiction. Yeah. I think fundamentally what's terrifying, the tension lays in the fact that we all know that this is, in some sense, the themes in, in The Handmaid's Tale have great resonance with us today. And ever since it was written 30 years ago, I think it's been prescient and timely. Um, mm -hmm. And even more so now, I think. No, very much so, because there are parts of the world where that's a reality for a lot of women. You know, that, that's what their lives are like. They, they don't have any rights. They can't do anything you uh, know, at all. It's all been taken away from them. That's true. I always reference, really, the other parts of the world, which we see in... in, in you, you, I think about Chechnya, and there's great troubles happening there, and in Nigeria, Boko Haram, and there's m many kind of places that are, that are evident of uh, huge repression and and a hideous sort of rights, uh, human rights against women. And I think that's why when we're watching it, it's not, you're not watching it thinking, oh, this could never happen, because it's already happening. Yeah, it's a kind of great discourse of uh, uh, re really the corrosive effects of, of power. And, it's, and we, we see that today. People, especially men like Fred Waterford in high um, positions of office and authority who feel they're untouchable. Mm. And with that power comes sort of corrosive effects. So I, I loved that kind of discourse and also he's multifaceted he's he's he wants to take care of Offred the previous Offred that was in the household took her life because of this abhorrent life of servitude mm. and I think there's a there's an element where he wants to both take care of her because of what happened to the previous handmaid and at the same time he's in that position of authority where he can't help but abuse that uh, that that um, relationship mm. and already they're saying there's going to be another series is that right that's right uh, we've pretty much exhausted the book so, so it's, it's going to be interesting exactly yeah wow, i think i'll be playing really jenga <laughs> next season <laughs> making Gen that really jenga. creepy yeah <laughs> exactly rather than because you yeah, play exactly. scrabble yeah. together if you haven't seen it it's, it is remarkable it is remarkable it's one of those it's one of those things that everybody talks about the next day you don't normally get that with programs no, listen i can't believe it's nearly 20 years do you know i was wondering what no, you're talking about that's it no. it's 20 years since i was thinking oh, i wonder what Shakespeare 20 and then, i know i was in shock because that was such a great film before that you really paid your dues you worked your butt off you did so many different jobs i did a lot and one of them was just a stone's throw from the studio here at the national theater where i was just coming by this morning thinking all those years when I was uh, 16, 17, 18, four years as a dresser at the National, that's where I really started, right, the South okay. Bank, was so where it all began. Oh, but you did that. <laughs> but having worked as a dresser and having done all of these jobs, it must give you a huge appreciation of the fact that a movie or a, or a TV show is a team, it's yeah, a team effort. Yeah, absolutely. I know the stars always get the, the kudos, they do, and sometimes the director, right. maybe the writer, but not all that much, but, but it's everyone, isn't it? No, it's a, it's a team effort, and, and that was a great thing. I think, apart from drama school being a, three years of my sort of education, in acting for me it all started as a dresser and understanding exactly that component as a yeah. team and how the mechanics come together and how every element is important and mm. you know whoever's in front of the cameras by virtue of the hundreds of people <laughs> who are helping it happen exactly. behind the camera exactly yeah. well that's why you're so successful and you'll continue to uh, be so successful because you've got that attitude thank you, you. Know, that's the thing. it's great to see you thank you so much for coming in i'm delighted there's going to be more handmaid's tales so am i i really am and it's a uh, channel four um, nine o'clock on sundays not to be missed thank you thank you great right. to see you